Well, everybody, we're at the halfway point of the regular season in the NFL. And I gotta tell you, this week is looking pretty interesting. It's looking pretty interesting, not gonna lie. You got Mike White and the Jets taking on Carson Wentz and the Colts tonight. That should be interesting to see. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna watch this game because, I mean, the Jets aren't. You know, they still have, you know, a bunch of losses on the season. But for Jets and Colts fans, this could be a turning point in both these teams' seasons, in all honesty, I think. Um, as we move on to Sunday, the Raiders, we, we yeah, let, let's, 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 just, let's just talk about this first. Um, as you may have known about the Raiders, um, Henry Ruggs got into a drunk driving accident, which... Unfortunately, his blood alcohol levels were, you know, twice the legal limit. Uh, he was driving at 150 something miles per hour, and unfortunately, both a woman and a dog passed away. And there were additional details that were announced over the, um, the past few days. Like, he had, like I don't know, I don't know why people want to point out that oh, that a loaded gun was in his car. That's really not relevant at all. Um, but he wasn't complying with the police. Uh, he really did seem. It, seem. it seems like there was also reports that he saw the woman in the car, the car was burning up, exploding, basically. He saw the woman in the car and failed to do anything about it. Um, he's been released by the Raiders. He's likely going to jail for a long time. If, if not, you know, if not for, you know, I don't know. Derek Carr came out today. It's just like saying, oh, I'm supporting Henry Ruggs. He needs, he needs love right now. No, this was a bad mis no, this is not just a bad mistake. This was one this is a mistake that could have been easily avoided. This this changes everything. This changes lives. This changes whole futures. And uh, you know, Henry Ruggs must face the consequences for his actions. It's unfortunate that a woman had to die because you couldn't get an Uber driver or a Lyft or a designated driver, somebody to designate drive you. Don't drink at home. Why don't people start drinking at home? That's what I don't understand. Like, going out to the bar is lame. It's so lame. You know, it's so lame to go to the bar now. Like, why would you want to go to the bar? Especially during a pandemic, you know. Why would you want to do that? I get it, things are starting to come, go back to normal. But why would you still, why would you want to do that? Why? Why? At least if you're gonna drink at a bar, you know, get somebody to drive you home. Get something to drive you home. If you you know, no, we we had so many stories about drunk driving. Hell, even Henry Ruggs himself has had you know some drunk driving you know history with one of his friends. You know, you know, like it's no joke. Like it's no joke. And you know, if Ruggs has to suffer the consequences for his actions. Then he shall throw the book at him. Do whatever you need to do, you know. Hopefully things, you know, you know, work out for the family involved with the woman. I forgot her name. I'm very particularly sorry about that that I forgot her name because I mean, you know, I don't live in Vegas, so I don't know, you know. But the Raiders are indeed going on the road against the Giants, so you know, I'll, I'll, I'll stop talking about this now. The Raiders are going on the road against the Giants. It's the Giants. You know, it is what it is there. Watch there be a surprise, though. It's the Giants. They, they never can seem to, you know, give us a game where it's like, oh, there's no hope. Because, I mean, they, they played very well against the Chiefs last week. I mean, despite the fact that it was sloppy. Falcon Saints is another interesting one because Trevor Sibian should be starting. I'm not sure what's wrong with Taysom Hill. We know Jameis is out. So maybe we lean a lot on Alvin Kamara in this game against the Falcons. Bills taking on the Jags. I mean, Josh Allen should just take care of this Jags, you know, team with ease because it's Jags, you know, and they are just not a good team. Browns Bengals is going to be interesting because you know both these teams suffered losses last week, and both these teams are trying to find an answer. Like you know, 
Baker Mayfield and company is having problems with Odell Beckham and his dad. The Bengals are trying to figure out what in the world happened with their defense last week because, again, the Jets had 500 yards against the Bengals. They had 500. Uh, you know, so I, don't, I don't know what's going on with the Bengals defense, you know, because, I mean, you know, they looked, there, there were times that they looked solid. I mean, the Ravens game was very solid. The Packers game, very solid. But this Jets game, uh, I don't know what that was. Was it an exposure? I really don't know. So both these teams are trying to figure out how to rebound. Going to be looking right at this game. It's going to be really, really interesting to see how this one goes. Patriots, Panthers, also going to be interesting to see how this goes because both these teams are back at 500. Um, this might be like a this might be like a secondary turn on game, you know? Well, you know, because I mean, obviously, I'm going to be watching the Cowboys and the Broncos, you know. You know, but the Patriots, Panthers should be interesting. Speaking of the Broncos, we all know that Von Miller is gone. Um, Broncos just look anemic on offense. I don't even know how they're at 500, but yet here they are. You know, they've beaten you know teams that aren't very good this year. The Cowboys, you know, just looking to get back on track. You know, you know, Cowboys have had injuries and stuff like that to their best players, and it, it, those guys are coming back. You know. As the weeks come on, you know, you know, like, I mean, man, so this should be an easy home game for the Cowboys. Finally, got an early home game for once. Vikings Ravens is going to be interesting now because the Vikings are what three and four, Ravens are what five and two, I think five and three or something like that. You know, Ravens coming off the bye too, so I mean. You know, this one's going to be interesting, an interesting battle between Kirk Cousins, Lamar Jackson, and these two interesting defenses. Because, uh, I mean, both defenses are really, really good, you know. You know and, I mean, I, I don't know. The Vikings are trying to, you know, trying to state their claim as somebody that wants to be something in the NFC, you know. And the Ravens are trying to get back on track because, I mean, again, you know, they got blasted by the Bengals. They got blasted by the Bengals a couple weeks ago. Texans Dolphins. How fitting, how fitting is it that Deshaun Watson didn't even get traded? How fitting is it? They Like, the Texans were trying to offer, you know, a bunch of different stuff to try and get Deshaun Watson out. And he's just staying there. So, what, I don't know what this game is going to be. I feel for Texans and Dolphins fans because both these teams are absolutely terrible this year. Just not good teams at all, man. How about the Chargers and the Eagles? The Chargers... I don't know what happened to them against the Patriots last week. I really don't. And the Eagles, they are flying high, you know, now. They got a they got a huge win against the Lions. You know, I mean, it is the Lions, but, I mean, they got a huge victory there. They got a huge, huge victory. Um, you know, and the Eagles, you know, they, they could they could do something. They could do something interesting now. You know, they, they, they had a lot of momentum lost. They're separating themselves from the bottom of the pack, trying to challenge the Cowboys. But, I mean, things got to get better for both these teams, though, you know. I mean, again, Chargers just did not look good last week, you know, against the Patriots. That was last week, you know. I mean, I wonder how Justin Herbert's feeling, you know. Because, I mean, things just did not go well for him last week. I mean, two bad interceptions, including one late. How about this? The Packers and the Chiefs. Who in the world is starting for the Packers? Who in the world is starting for the Packers? Jordan Love. And you know why Jordan Love is starting? <laughs> Aaron Rodgers didn't get vaccinated. He has COVID. COVID done took out Aaron Rodgers this week. How fitting. How fitting. How do you not get vaccinated? How do you not get vaccinated and you're in the NFL? You know. Like, I thought the NFL had, like, mandates for vaccinations, but I guess not. I guess not. The Chiefs, you know, they're just trying to get things together. Like, you got this defense all out of whack. You got Tyron Matthew, you know, dealing with stuff. I think I just saw a headline about that. You know, you got you got Dirty Dan Sorensen, you know, just not playing good at all. You got Patrick Mahomes just throwing interceptions left and right. I mean, you got Tyreek Hill dropping balls. You got injuries all over the place. And team just not performing up to their expectations. And this one should be an interesting one. I don't know how this is, you know, what it is. You know, I don't know how this is a game of the week now, you know, but it is what it is there.
um, cards and the 49ers now this should be interesting because I mean the 49ers they uh, I don't know how they beat the Bears last week I mean I mean the offense of the 49ers does not look good all season long but yet here they are the Cardinals are looking to rebound after a tough tough loss I mean last week I mean no JJ Watt remember JJ Watt season is over again so you know, the Cardinals looked completely lost without him on defense, you know, at times. Because, I mean, they got ran over. Now, that should spell something for the 49ers. Because, I mean, the 49ers always have a pretty decent running game, you know. So, that, that should spell something. Should make this game a lot more interesting. And then late, late on Sunday night, biggest game of the week. Because, you know, the Titans, they've signed Adrian Peterson. I know, to replace Derrick Henry for the time being because Henry should be out for like six to ten weeks but honestly it looks like his season might be over in all honesty you know maybe he can come back in the playoffs but I know the injury timetable is like six to ten weeks if I'm not mistaken and the Rams the Rams have signed everybody <laughs> on everybody they could to make an elite defense and, you know, coupled with the fact that, you know, Jared Goff has been throwing at Cooper Cup all the time. You know, Cooper Cup has been lighting it up this year. And coupled with this defense, Jalen Ramsey, Aaron Donald, and now Vaughn Miller. You know, this, this Rams defense is saying, we want the Super Bowl. Super Bowl or bust, baby. Super Bowl or bust. And this is a great first impression, you know, to get Von Miller acclimated with the Titans, you know, because, I mean, the Titans, you know, now that they don't have, you know, the leading rusher, King Henry, you know, I don't know what they're going to do, you know, could they rely more on Ryan Tannehill, because, I mean, Tannehill has not looked great half the time this year, like, I'm not even going to lie to you, like, half the Titans games I've watched this year, he's looked like trash, he's looked like, he's looked like Ryan Tannehill on the Dolphins, you know, not, just not that guy. Just not that guy. Then Monday night, Bears and Steelers to finish it off. Um, I don't know what to say about this game, other than the fact that it's a Monday night game. And, I mean, the Bears, you know, still trying to find their footing with Justin Fields, you know, trying to get through COVID, you know, because, I mean, a lot, of, a lot of players and coaches like Matt Nagy, you know, gotten COVID and stuff like that. Steelers, you know, they're trying to keep their momentum going after a huge victory against the Browns. You know, again, there's still many, many questions about the Steelers team, you know, right now. Because, I mean, things have just not looked good for them all season long. But yet, here we are, you know, with that game ending Monday night. You know, and we'll see how things go on Monday night. So, that is going to do it, everybody. That's all I got to say, in all honesty, for week number nine of the NFL season. I'm happy to say that we are at 150 subscribers, so congrats to me, and congrats to all of you who subscribed and are here for these videos each and every week, and, you know, continue to support, you know, go donate to my Ko-Fi page, it, I, I, I said the other day that somebody has donated, and again, I'm glad for that person that has donated, I've already said his name, so there's no need to say it again. Um, Things are going to get busy again for me, it seems, you know, so soon, I don't know when, but, you know, so videos, you know, aren't, I mean, I, I mean, I made this video today, so that's how, that's, I mean, you know, I usually do these like on a Wednesday night, so, you know, so that's how busy things have been, so, again, y'all take care, you know, the weekend is coming, so, you know, have a great weekend, and I will see you all late, late, sun, into Sunday morning, late Saturday night for the college football recap, you know, take care.